Hi everyone! I am here today to record my reading rush and Ariel and Raylene asked to have the video as you're in the process of choosing books and so here I am set up at my bookcase. So just to kind of start off, I was thinking really hard about this video, it's so hard that I actually dream had a dream last night specifically about choosing books for this reading rush and in it I had dreamed that I had a helium, and helium balloon with a string and then I was tying like all my prompt book prompts to it so you could see it and then when the first thing I thought when I woke up the books are never going to hang properly on that so I don't have a balloon with a string with all my prompts however just wanted to let you know I've been thinking about this really hard and so I have thought about the options that I want to do before doing this video. For prompt number one, read a book the color of your birthstone. Now my birthstone is a diamond. I was born in April and that's why I also started my channel in April kind of as a birthday present to me and so looking at a diamond you can take it one of two ways a diamond is more translucent or you can choose white and so i'm also doing the tomb infinity um readathon and so i already have like 22 books picked out i'm think, trying to think how can i use those same books for this reading rush as well you know get two accomplished and so I'm making it like, so this just kind of has a white back, you know, spine and, but it's not really white on the front. However, cause it's a library book, it does have that nice shiny, like translucent or transparent cover on the front. So in one way, this book would work very well. And I do plan, I, I do think that I'll be reading this book at the time of the reading rush anyway. So this is a viable option if you think of a diamond as transparent and that this is the city in the middle of the night by charlie jane anders also this fits prompt number two because it starts with the the and then for book number three read a book that was inspired by a movie you've already seen and I had two options on my shelves for books that I had saw the movie before reading the book and both of them are memoir. And I have Rocket Boys, which is one of my favorite memoirs. But you know, with 22 books already planned to read, I think I'm gonna go with Who Gets the Drumstick by Helen Beardsley. Now, for those of you who watch a lot of movies, no, the movie is not called Who Gets a Drumstick. The movie is called Yours, Mine, and Ours. And so there are two versions, and I saw the Henry Fonda and Lucille Ball version as a kid, really loved it, and then later found out that it was based off of a real family. And so I spent years looking for this book. Really enjoyed the movie. And so, yeah, I think that this is the book I'm going to do for the prompt of a movie that I've already seen. Also, it work, has a white cover, so it also could doubly work with, for the diamond prompt if you think that a diamond should be the color of white. And then number four, read the first book that you touched. Well, in this video, the first one I touched was The City in the Middle of the Night. So I guess it's going to go for multiple prompts. <laughs> number five is read a book that is completely outside of your house. So I can't read it here. And I think I will probably still do that with this one because this is pretty short and I read a lot on my lunch break. And so I can take this and I can read this while I'm eating. And so that will be completely then out of the house. Then the next one, which I think is number six, is read a book in a genre that you've always wanted to read more of. I've lately started really enjoying memoirs, so this works for that too. And then the last one is read a book that takes place on a different continent than where you live. And for this one, I chose War Girls by Toshi Onebuchi. Sorry, I probably completely butchered that name. But this book is takes place in Nigeria. So that would be 
not my continent since I live in North America. So thank you so much for joining me today and looking at the books that I'm going to be reading for the Reading Rush. I'm excited to do this, to do this rush. This will be my first one. So I'll see you all later. Bye.